this is at my two for five and it's three minutes at ten o'clock. I couldn't do the re uh, the review right after I saw this after I saw the expendable expendable because of uh, one thing is school. Well then anyway, let's do the review of the action packed blockbuster film Salt. The movie was directed by Philip Noyce, which stars Angelina Jolie, Liev Schreiber, and Chiwetel Ejiofor. I love uh, the music was done by James Newton Howard. Cinematography done by Robert S. Elswit. And uh, the running time for this movie is 100 minutes. And the budget for this movie is $110 million. Now, a plot for Assault is that how it began, they brought in some sort of defector, some sort of Russian defector. You see this old guy who has cancer and this weird Super Bowl ring, I don't know what it is. So we bring in Evelyn Salt, who was played by Angelina Jolie. While they were interrogating, the man said um, the Russian spy is uh, Evelyn Salt. Her name was Evelyn Salt, and then he said to him, I mean, he said to her, and you are a Russian spy. Suddenly, something goes wrong. She feels like she was panicking, and like she she doesn't she doesn't want to admit that she was a spy. And uh, basically, she's out in the run, either finding her husband or um, trying to kill the president of Russia and the president of the United States. Let me tell you something. As I can say about this movie, it was a piece of boredom. I didn't like it, man. It was. <clears throat> it was. It was. It was too boring. You know, I couldn't even get the. I couldn't even get the story right. You can't even tell which is the bad guy or the good guy. Angelina Jolie plays both bad guys and good guys. I mean, make up the mind, Philip. Well, even though that it's not your fault. Uh. It was. It had to be written by, by someone. It was written by two people, Kurt Wimmer and Brian Helgen. Two of you. Just make up your mind. I couldn't even understand what. I couldn't even understand the plot, dude. It's too confusing. They did like the exact same thing on Shutter Island. I couldn't fit the. I couldn't fit the plot, piece by piece. And uh, basically, it just, everything just doesn't add up. Right now, even though Angela Jolie is like the really hot MILF in every action movie that she uh, that she works in, this one I think I like her better blonde instead of black haired. Uh, she does right. She did. She did. She did um, do good for the movie. The problem is that I couldn't just get the whole story right. The story's the problem. I mean, the acting was okay. Uh, visuals was okay. The score was okay. It's just a. The problem is, it's just a plot, and I couldn't understand the plot. I couldn't know what it meant. All right, it's it's too confusing. And um, basically, I've been there, bored. Like, please make this movie end. Please let it be another 80-minute movie. You no, know, it was a an hour and a half movie. I've been there 100 watching a hundred a hundred and ten million dollar movie. A right, hundred minutes of boredom. You don't know that the action scenes and Angelina Jolie's hotness are pretty cool with the parkour, but still, it does not do justice for the movie. Now, basically, I just couldn't understand. It's neither the good girl or the bad girl. I couldn't understand anything. Basically, in the end, she's a good girl. All right, and then um. The black man, you know, made her escape. One thing is that I just sit there watching boredom, except for the action scenes. The action scenes were cool. Parkour was cool. All right. It's just that this movie was lame, boring, and uh, not entertaining. And if you recommend on seeing this movie and not believing what I said. And go see it. But be warned because this movie is boring. Oh man. It's, I've been in there. A hundred and ten. A hundred minutes watching boredom. 
Now, here's the thing that I don't know why that they had to do. When I saw in the trailer, there was supposed to be some sort of a sex scene with Angelina Jolie. Guess what? It's not there. It's not there, dude. So you guys were preparing to masturbate from Angelina Jolie. Guess what? The sex scene is deleted. Alright, well, um, basically, just the action was good. Um, the uh, acting was good. The music was, was good, but the plot, it didn't add up. Nothing didn't add up to my senses. I couldn't put. I couldn't put the. I couldn't edit a plot in my mind piece by piece. Some stuff that are just coming out of nowhere. I mean, how can you even tell? It's like they were working together, but you can't even tell. Just they didn't give out no hints to tell if it's a bad guy or a good guy. You couldn't even tell, especially Liev Schreiber. I, I didn't even know he was a bad guy. Oh man, it's just. It's just. I was bored. Watching the movie, the action scenes were just tremendously good, especially the part where she's on the truck, but does not do justice for the movie. Well, here's the rating.